How's it going, boys? So today we're playing the best live gain deck that Yu-Gi-Oh has to offer. Oh yes, it's the live gain nuke. It's been a while since we did a deck like this. And finally, I did incorporate one thing that I thought for a very, very long time that we can do in a deck like this. It's Nightmare Shepherds. Oh yes. What a great time to be alive. So we have four healing pigeons, four disgusting, two dawns of hope, three Daxos, four Imperial, Imperial Origa, Olig Oligarchs, one Helio, two Omens of the Sun, four Bloodthirsty Aerialists, two Disgusting, one Erebos, three Nightmare Shepherds, two Soaring Coons, three Balas Citadels, and two Command the Dread Horde. Oh yes! So, it took, well, honestly, I started with this uh, deck idea very, very long time ago. Because the point is, Nightmare Shepherds, they're too, a little bit too expensive, but at the same time, they're really good for decks like this that just get counters on creatures. And, you know, can't make a live gain deck without Command Dreadhorde, so there's a minus. But, with three Nightmare Shepherds, I believe this is plausible. I do believe this is plausible. Maybe you switch down to one Commanded Dread Horde. But, boys, I ain't no soy boy, so two Commanded Dread Horde it is. 24 lands to be specific, extremely everything special this time. Four Fable Passages, two, uh, two Castle Lockmains, two Temples of Silence, two, uh, two score, uh, Scored Barons. Oh, yes. Oh god damn it, I haven't gotten the text all fucking day long and press the record button and BAM! And it's from the girl that actually matters, so... God! <laughs> That's the fastest table slam we have had, but I need to respond to this. And again, it's the one you need to respond to fast, but the deck is not finished, because I didn't do the best thing possible. Oh yes, daily deals, boys. Let, let's let, let, let's just do this. Oh yes, God, if she wants to talk, I can't exactly like not talk. But oh God, there's a second one. Oh God, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oh, my life is horrible. Well, doesn't really matter, I guess. You know, everyone has rough patches. I personally have non-stop. Wait, did I not get it? I thought I bought it. Hello, game? Oh, great, it's purchased, but the, the game does not recognize that it's purchased. In the development, boys. It, 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 it's, a, it, it's, it's, it's just a struggle. Okay, yes, yes, please, g g give me the uglier version of four. I, I can't. I I Boys, I, I really like playing this game, but the, the indie development is just a horrible process. I understand the struggles and whatnot. They don't have money for their employees. They can't afford artists. They can't afford programmers. And they do it from a basement. But, but still, you, you at least have some tact or class or whatever random MacGuffin word insert here. Okay, at least, at least the cat works 50% of the time when you put it on purple, it 50% of the time stays on purple. That, 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 that's probably the, the highest achievement v Wizards of the Coast uh, backstabbing in the development company has done for now. Oh, god damn it. Well, I can't respond with the just a oh shit sound. I'm just gonna mute you guys, I guess. It's only one minute long, 30 seconds are left, so so keep your hopes up. We don't have lands, so imagine how I'm saying something about this game being rigged.
Done. Okay, this game... No lane. He has four lands. I have two lands. This game's garbage. Oh, boys. Again. Oh, and we still didn't get a land. How amazing. The only good part here is he can't kill the Gianni's 40, so that's good. Good. Wait, what happened? Oh, he stole my thing! Oh! Great job, wizards! What a game! I feel I had a lot of options there. Yes! Give me all the expensive cards. And no... God damn it! Ugh... Well, this is probably not good. Oh, this is a little bit better. Nice. No, wait. Is it or is it not? Well, we can start off with a healing pigeon. And maybe we get six life. Considering how we lost the last game, this one should be easy, sneezy, lemon squeezy. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Wait, can you still hear? I'm pretty sure you no longer can even hear the phone vibrations. Maybe you can feel the home uh, phone vibrations, but definitely not hear them, right? Uh Okay, so what's happening? Oh, well, honestly, we're in a kind of good position. Oh, wait, that has reach. That could have been played a little bit better, but honestly, uh, well, honestly, not good. But we can play a Doxos, and that makes everything nice, and that can never kill us. Oh, yes. Is he gonna attack, or is he not gonna? No, he has only one man available. A spark does not do enough. Oh, boy. God damn it! Okay, okay, relax, everything is maybe fine, well it is fine, but still. Yeah, wait, what's happening? He buffed something? Oh, he buffed something, the absolute mad lad. Do you honestly think I will block or something? Because I won't. <laughs> I will 100% not block. Even if you have... Yeah, there's no reason to block. Okay. Uh. Okay, I, I think that's good enough. Six, two... Do I want Doxos, Doxos to die? Nah, I don't want Doxos to die. With a life gain deck, this is absolutely 100% on the fine side, boys. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna take this. That's, that, that's just 100%. And then we're gonna do... Oh, the Ajani's would be... If we draw a land next turn, like, this is the play of the century. But if we don't... Wait, that's a... God damn it. Okay, let's force him into attacking at least or something like that. Oh, lose the first game because reasons, and now the second game looks as abhorrently bad because the same reasons, pretty much. Ah, oh, well, good shit. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to, like, reply here. Oh, okay, that's good. Wait, he's not gonna attack now, is he? I'm, I'm very certain he is not attacking. There's no way he attacks, right? Yeah, oh, 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 wait. Nah. Do we have anything to resurrect? We have the healing pigeon to resurrect. But I think this will be a little bit more fine. I want a little bit of extra HPs on that creature feature. Okay, good enough, I guess. And a wall air. 
This is essentially what the red decks fear. Oh yes, a bunch of things that they cannot kill not attacking. By the way, the best part, my favorite part about this deck is uh, the furies, obviously. I'm a, I'm a closet degenerate and everyone should know that, but no, okay, that's that that's an actual lie, boys. I am I may be a degenerate on multiple levels above human comprehension, but furies are not my degeneracy. My forty folder only has like ten pictures that are arguably not even forty tier. Oh yes, boys, that is the life. Also, I'm gonna sacrifice that because why not? Everything else is gonna grow because of it. Well, enemy kun, what's your move now? Okay, need to think of a response. Pretty good stuff. Okay, or maybe not think of a response. Also, her WhatsApp is hidden, so you know you never know when she's watching. So that's a problem on its own. Oh, boys. Again, life is shit. <laughs> life is just a horrible piece of whatever. Also, maybe I could have blocked with a non-token because of a Sorin Chan. Ah, well, I guess it's fine. Again, we kind of need lands and everything's fine. He really wants to kill you up. There she blows. Well, that was expected. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's pretty nice. So essentially, this allows anything I play to essentially just like die for freebies, and it's it's all good in the hood. Okay, and now we get an absurd amount of life gain and whatnot. So yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, everything's gonna get more buffed. We don't need to attack. Establishing dominance slowly but certainly. So yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. I, I probably should just not respond, even though it's gonna look awkward considering I was in. But I, I, I can't. I'm a man. I can only focus on two things, and those two things are not two separate things, and those two things are extremely close to one another, usually. So problems ahoy. Anyway, it looks currently pretty decent, pretty relevantly squeaky clean and whatnot. So that's good. Man, this guy is just popping off like there's absolutely no tomorrow. But we can actually do the exact same thing, and finally we got something that gives us a little bit, well, a card draw. We need, we, we, we need those lands. I can't stress this one out enough, how much we actually need those lands. And yes, well, actually, I should be attacking with this thing, honestly, but I kind of feel like no is the correct answer. So, five lands, just one more land and we can- Oh my god! Wait, did I screw up somewhere along the lines? Maybe. Uh, that's gonna be a bunch of deeps, yo. Oh, he has that, that's a problem. But then again, is it really a problem? I think we survive and next turn we can attack just back with everything and it's absolutely fine. Okay, so this goes on that. No, no, no. This goes on that. That goes on that. That goes on that. And that goes on that. Should maybe kill the Steamkin Bumpkin. Ah, can't kill the Steamkin Bumpkin. Wait, is this smart? No, this should probably go on this. Okay, good enough. And this blocks that. No, wait, Duxos blocks this. No, wait, Duxos can't die because I don't want him to die. Ah, uh, yeah, this is fine. Okay, as long as I don't magically die, I think I'm fine. Again, should've... Amber Cleave! No! Why is it so over... I'm dead now. Pretty sure I... Wait, he wants to kill the pigeon that badly? Awkward. Well, I'm 100% dead. Oh, no, I'm not dead. I think I'm not dead. Close to it, but yet no cigar enemy kun. Oh, no, I am extremely dead. Should have attacked like a long time ago with all the Sorin kun. Man, how do we lose this because of lands? How do we not get land? It took... At least this time we had lands. 
Honest to God, at least this... I mean, we had a ball of citadel right there in hand. No, no lands. Admittedly, we had creatures, and the only reason we lost, essentially, was my greed to not attack. Even though we could have gotten the Ajani prideful shitlord thing. Ugh. I sometimes hate myself, but that that feeling does not last again with, uh, with, with the annoying the stuff. Uh, Omen of the Sun, yeah, why not? We have a Daxos, might as well. Also, we have this, so, boom. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? Oh, this is a Chandra deck above all unholy things possible. Wow! Didn't expect that. Okay, yeah, this is a Planeswalker Chandra deck. Very impressive. Not really, but very impressive. Okay, what is this? Four damage, huh? Well, that's, that, that's definitely something. And there goes my Daxos Lava Coiled. Oh, yes. Well, his life was short, but flamboyant. Best I can say about Daxos, honestly. Okay, so let's get a Black Land, because, well, that's the best we can do, honestly. Again. Ah, oh, God. Was first game, not enough lands. This is the first video yet again. Man, I'm a professional when it comes to making the worst videos possible. Honest to God, boys, I just am. Also, why the hell do you have a Chandra split roast? Why? It doesn't make a lot of sense in my opinion, but hey. I guess it's fine. Okay, so... Does he have... Oh, no. Oh, he has that. Well, that does make sense. Oh my god, now we're just gonna lose because extensive reasons. Wow. Wow. That is... That is absolutely perfect. How the hell is this even remotely allowed? <laughs> Oh, now he just wins because m m m m McGuffins. M just McGuffins. Oh, boys. So, how much is that? That is four times three. Yeah, we're dead. We're absolutely dead, though. Four times three, that's a lot of stuff. I hate my life so much. Honest to God, I do. Oh, we're dead. Look at this. We never stood a chance. How amazing is that? Wait, actually... Wait, why isn't it four? Huh. Very interesting. Very cool. Okay, is there anything we... No, there isn't. Spoiler alert, there absolutely is not a single thing we can do to survive this situation. The only thing that could have potentially survived as the situation was... Uh, I, again, I kind of don't exactly know what, but something! So, he all he needs to do is not block. With the goddamn sp sp scorching spitter. Yep, that was, that was extremely hard, the enemy. Well, what a game! Garbage! How, how, how is life so goddamn garbage? Oh, God. Not enough. This time we got the lands. But it didn't matter because the game said, Nah, 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 you're not winning. You're, you're just not winning. Here. Two, two scorch spitters. The thing that empowers them to infinity and beyond. And then the goddamn split roast. How is that even allowed? Okay. Well, this is at least card draw. I like it. Okay, so this looks a lot better. We have, we have the thing, but the enemy d does go first, so, yeah, disgusting. Oh, horrible. This is horrible. Oh, at least he didn't drop anything, and look at that, a third land. Man, am I the most lucky duckling alive or what? Wait, well, 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 what are those colors? Well, if you're gonna count, oh, he doesn't even count it. Oh, is this gonna be my free win because balanced reasoning matchmaking exists? I don't think so, honestly, but hey. Ah, whatever. Whatever. Whenever. 
stay together, harmony, and now I can actually resurrect one. So technically it does not matter at all. Okay, so this guy just loses because, well, two healing pigeons, a Johnny's 40, and Shablam. Essentially, hey, look at that. We, we, got, we, we got the big straw this time. Great stuff, boys, great stuff. And we can resurrect him with Sorinchan. Great stuff. This game is just... This, 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 oh. Oh, that means we don't, we maybe lose at the next turn. Well, in that case, pay life, anyway. And in that case, let us just attack for this much. Because I want to resurrect multiple things in succession now. Okay, at least we're getting a little bit of that sweet, sweet laifu. Oh, yes. Well, the dick does get life and it does get it good. That's the design. We have made so many of these decks. And the only way usually we lose is against the turn 5 wipe, which sometimes happens. And against absolutely disgusting plays like, oh no, not getting lands. Yeah, that seems about right. Man, I should have just attacked with the Aerolist every turn, but I was far too greedy. Far too greedy for my own. What the hell is this? But anyway, something something about me, me myself being far too greedy. Minus one. Do it. Do it like there is absolutely no tomato. Attack with absolutely everything that's worth attacking with. He's gonna block with Doxos, but hey. And now we can draw two cards with this thing. And you know what, boys? That's pretty good. This is like one of those things that could have happened like 50 goddamn trillion years ago. But the game was like, no, 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 no. There's absolutely no way you lose against the red deck under normal circumstances. So, hey. Well, he's gonna survive a turn more. I don't understand why he has Dovin's acuity engine there, but hey. I, I guess it's somewhere along the lines makes sense. Well, honestly, nothing makes... Well, nothing even matters. Oh, God. Okay. So this is what this deck is capable of doing in general, boys. Like, look. Uh, let's just buff the healing pigeon that's not attacking. I, no, wait. Every healing pigeon is attacking. Anyway, just attack with everything. The point is, he kills this pigeon, but we kind of exile it. So that's all she wrote, essentially. Yeah, look at this. We now uh, the pigeon's dead now. There's like a trillion triggers happening because I am not paying attention. To what the hell is happening? And we're just buffing a pigeon even more for no reason whatsoever. Take action. The pigeon gets resurrected. Boom, shaplam, va blam. Yeah, that's essentially the combo because it's a one-one. Its whole point is life link and flying. The fact that you exile it does not matter. And if you have anything, and Command the Dread Horde is amazing, because even if you have only, like, I don't know, two things per se to get out of your own graveyard, then it's still 10 out of 10 goddamn amazing, boys. And that's essentially the whole shtick. Also, I should probably just cast Command the Dread Horde. Yeah, just casting Command the Dread Horde instantaneously with everything and anything. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, this could have happened, like, last game prior to last game, and now I'm gonna click on random things because I honestly can't follow the triggers. <laughs> I can't follow the triggers, boys. And this is, like, what this deck is capable of doing at a constant basis because, well, the, well, the, the essentially, the... The the, 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 the the way this works is just absolutely 300 years of goddamn disgusting. Uh, that's essentially how it goes. You see, every little action we take, every cry we make just, just, just buffs things. And yeah, now let's just attack. And he is most likely dead. Or close to dead. Well, it doesn't matter, again, obviously. And we still have one commanded Red Horde if everything gets swiped. But then again, if everything gets swiped, look at this, Nightmare Shepherd. It's like an insurance policy against the generous AoE removal. I know, it's absolutely amazing. Also, the HP we have is pretty commendable. But, probably more commendable th than that is how much I get annoyed the fact that I need to click all these things. 
Because I do. I honestly do, boys. Yep. At least that happened. Yep, that's that's pretty good. And now we can sacrifice everything and anything. Ah, oh, nine. Now let's uh, sacrifice this. And, yes. Yes. Exactly. And boom. Let's get absolutely everything also back. Yep. Absolutely everything. And let's start putting uh, counters on stuff. Boys. <laughs> Did I not say this is absolutely amazing? It admittedly happens, like, well, it happens a lot. And yes, for some reason we are allowed to exile his graveyard. They honestly don't know if it's a bug or not, because I ain't gonna read that much text. But, I don't know, technically maybe, maybe not it's a bug. I, I, I have absolutely no clue. And yes, this guy is a 1-1 one, one for some reason, which I'm, again, also not sure if it is a bug or if it's not a bug or something like that. But yeah, if you also just ta take the little bit of, uh, a little bit of effort needed ne uh, that's necessary for this, you can easily, without any problems, like, resurrect these things in a f uh, fashionably correct order and do a lot more with it. So yeah. Oh god. Only took how many games did we lose because of MacGuffin bullshit? Mostly not drawing lands, but again against like deck like this, it's the only thing you can do to ruin it is not give it lands and not give it the early creatures. Which is more than 50% of the deck, so that technically does not exactly work work. Oh look at that, this is horrible. Oh look at that, this is a little bit a lot better. Let's see, what do we do not want? Honestly, we want everything. I suppose Daxos is better than the Oligarch, so that's a thing. Ooh, Boros decks. That's absolutely disgusting. Well, that's absolutely fine at the same time. A Boros deck is a weak deck. Hopefully. Said, uh, said the person, ex uh, said me while being extremely, you know... As long as he doesn't kill Doxos, I think we're fine. Because we can greed island this bad boy like there is absolutely no tomorrow. Yes, I don't care about 2 HP. We're gonna gain, like, at least 15. Okay, so this, this is essentially how it goes. Bam, shablam, ba bam Oh, yes. And if he attacks, we obviously still don't block because that's an obvious... Obvious bait. Bait and switch, boys. Okay. Oh my god, he doesn't have anything! He skipped the attack for- Oh, that's so unlucky, enemy Kun. Oh, I, I- I almost feel bad for you. Oh, lordy, lord, lord. Imagine that. That is absolutely sublime. And then our next turn is fabulous because we get to drop the oligarch and omen of the sun. And maybe we're not even gonna use it on, uh, you know, sorcery speed, but instant speed. To get those points and being good players that everyone so much cares about nowadays. Anyway, this is absolutely fabulous. This poor sucker of a meat puppet is playing a Boros deck. <laughs> And he did not get any type of damage boosts? Oh. That is absolute sadness. I think that's that that's probably the definition of sadness. Oh, boys. Man. Man, oh, man. Oh, truly the definition of sadness. And no, I'm not gonna buff it. Because, again, we have Omen of the Suns. Well, Omen of the Sun. But Omen of the Sun sounds a little bit better because of the approach, the approaching, approach, approach of the second sun or what that's card called. Man, we could make so many decks around that card. Too bad it's not in, in standard. Honestly, a bit sad, but hey, that's just life. Again, we have kind of proven that life is sad. What is this? Enemy Kun, what is this? Uh, 
Okay. Oh, that's 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 impressive. But how about I drop Nomen of the Sun and now I I don't even know how many buffs and whatnots I'm gonna get. I think I have like four. Or oh no, because of that guy probably more. So first things first, we're pimping out the oligarch. And he already surrendered. Oh, imagine how lucky I could be if this was just, you know, the first game, not that we lose against lands and then we lose because of greed and then we lose again because no lands exist. Sad life, sad life, considering, you know, the average view time for my video is 12 minutes. Ah, oh, well, maybe some people will, st I still need to think of a response. Ah, it doesn't matter, I guess. Okay. Uh, a pigeon, a dude, a furry, a citadel, and a little yon. Well, that's a pretty good time, honestly. Okay, so do this. <clears throat> Hopefully he doesn't even have lands. Again, if we get lands, we're gonna win. There's absolutely no... Oh... Is this going to be one of those fancy schmancy evil, uh, is it Drake decks? Uh, I have a feeling we're good. It, it is. No, not this is a Drake decks, but the fairy decks. Well, the fairy decks don't matter. No, what is this? Well, there goes my citadel. Oh, no, it's going to be the healing... I'm not, I, I, you know what, I'm not even going to question it. Shit happens, as they say. Shit happens. Okay. So, if only we could now magically acquire three more lands, I would be absolutely ecstatic game about stuff. Obviously, you think a Doxos is a little bit better than get, giving me three life. Which is obviously a misconception. Okay, okay, Cry of the Canarium. That's very cute. How about giving me lands, game? How about them? Oh, look at that. More stuff that I can't play. God, I hate this game. You know what's the percentile chance of not drawing a fourth land on turn four? Less than 50 fucking percent. Okay, I'm making that up. I actually don't know. And that's not something I... Oh, look! It's At least it's something playable. We can't draw extra cards, but hey. Look at how fair this is. Do you think he has more than 24... No, he doesn't. I can already tell you this guy does not have more than 20 fucking 4 lands. But for some reason, he has 6 lands. And I don't have even 4 lands. Ain't that just the epitome of fairness? I do, I do think it honestly is. Oh, look at that. Man, we need to do uh, do, do on a mass deck. Again, a mass decks are insanely good. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Impressive. Wow. Wait, does this even work? Oh, no, this does not even work. Great stuff. Anyway. Hoopty doopty boopty. I could have won, but, you know, fuck you, I guess. Oh, and now there's a Balast that we can't absolutely deal with ever. I think I'm gonna keep the Dread Horde. Yeah, we have, we have something at least to resurrect with it. Okay, this is, this is suddenly a little bit better than anticipated. Okay. This is, again, not the worst case scenario. If we get the Citadel out... Well, there's no Imperial Ol Oligarch and one Doxos, so that's pretty good. A sacrifice... Yeah, whatever. Sacrifice that Planeswalker. No one cares. Okay, so how are the hell... Okay, a mass and he just keeps on going. Uh, if you draw... Wait, it's his turn. Yes, please. Okay, good. I actually forgot it's his turn. Because you can't draw one card on his turn. Okay, so this is horrible. Okay, so it's exile time. <clears throat> Great! Look at this! 
The guy's so slow, we could have easily just absolutely decimated this poor little sap of a creature feature. But the game's like, nah, boy, nah. Well, now, oh, 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 oh. Well, that's honestly pretty good. Well, oh, yes. If he has one more whatever of those things, I'm gonna scream. Okay, so re-citadel it up. Same, same exact thing, whatever. Okay, as long as he doesn't cry of the fucking canarium, of course. Of course. How would it not be cry of the goddamn canarium? Absolutely unqu- Like, all we needed to do was drop this and send- Well, Cry of the Canarium still- I, I actually don't know how that works. If he exiles- Yeah, this probably still doesn't work. When a creature dies, exile is not considered death. Exile is considered exile, I guess. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's nothing. It's nothing yet again. Uh, a whoopty doopty poopty scoopty. That that that's that 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 that's my stance on the situation. Okay, so we can do the minus thing. Uh, I don't want to sacrifice a creature though. How is this so sad? This game is so sad. We this guy didn't even have a chance to win. But no, we spent like like. We spent so many turns. Oh, great. I need to do this now. No, this is the correct order of things. And bam. Yes, what a great time to be alive. Yes, I, by the way, know the interaction, which most likely amazes some of you that I have read Erebos' description so far to know that this is how it works. Ah, <laughs> uh, but there's nothing we can do now. Well, there... Oh, shit, I did not want to pay life. Oops. Well, ain't that just absolute sadness? But we still lose, because I forgot that how Eternal uh, entered the God Eternals work. How is this legit? This is the most unlegitimate thing I have ever seen in my life. Now he kills the city. This, this, this poor sap didn't have a chance against us. That is the reality of things. This sap did not even have a single chance against us. The only difference was, hey, magically did not draw lands. Oh boy. Could have been so easy. Could have been so, so easy. Do you want to bet he does not have more than 24 lands, by the way? Because I, I I am willing to bet he does not have more than 24 lands. Yet he had, what, 5, 6 lands while we had 2 or 3 lands? Great stuff. Balance in all things. Okay. Onward we go. Onward we go. God. And usually it goes so well, by the way, when I'm playing decks like this. Well, Skyland is not technically bad, but admittedly, Castle Lockwain is a lot useless. Well, at least this is a combo. Oh, suddenly everything just just seems better. Okay, we have the strongest open unsummon or opt. Wow. Well, I guess I don't exactly care too much, so it's good either way. Is the, is the, is this now going to be some kind of dig the chest apps? Yes, it is. I have a feeling he has exactly everything to counter absolutely anything I no wait, what is that? Wow. I don't know what that is, but huh. Okay. This is the thing that puts things on the, into the graveyard. Put that many cards. Yeah. Wow. Who the hell uses this? Like, why would you even use it to begin with? So many questions, so little answers, boys. Not gonna lie. Okay, as long as we get a little bit... I guess that's fine. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? Well, we're gonna attack with this. Maybe he's out of lands. Maybe he has a super cool deck, but he just doesn't have lands. 
Obviously he does. Unsummoned was extremely expected. Okay, good enough though. You can't... You did, return target... Wow! That was an extremely abundantly impressive amount of MacGuffins there, boys. Wait. He can still put my things on top of the graveyard? That's, well, actually nothing changed from that. Impressive still. Okay, and we can get back Imperial Oligarchs and all that good shabazzle. You have only two man. Oh, now you have three man. Well, you shouldn't technically feel bad mo uh, no, no longer. Okay, just do this. Again, as long as, as long as we just get a good command, the Dread Horde, which is not gonna be that... Oh! Unhappy squirrel noises, boys. Can't can't say anything else. Okay, does he have anything in the graveyard? Okay, so now as long as the game just decides to give me uh, that sweet sweet thing that's called the land. Oh god, it actually did. Okay, so here's the th here's here's the trick. We don't exactly actually need to drop the citadel. This is gonna be good enough, and thankfully I did not kill myself. <laughs> oh, that's so good that we did not accidentally yet again kill ourselves. Because again, that could have ended like horribly. But thankfully it did not. So, it's just a meme deck, huh? Well, meme deck or not, he's well dead. So that's absolutely amazing. Okay, attack with everything because we can. Oh yes, and you're gonna have to deal with your own towering, uh, towering wave mystic, which honestly seems overpowered if a, if a little scrawny dude like that can summon such a wave that destroys probably cities. But then again, reasons and whatnot. Okay, at the end of the day, we actually won games, which is uh, how the hell did we get such bad first and second games? I still need to reply, <laughs> yet again. Man, not a single text all goddamn day. And you press the record button and voila, magic happens. Ah oh, well, it could be worse. Well, actually it couldn't exactly be worse, but hey. Anyway, this was Quasar Sensen. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, this is the deck, it's actually pretty amazing, but again, uh, the gods of magic just randomly decided that, hey, how about you don't draw lands, how about you uh, don't draw creatures that are early game, even though legitimately this first half is early game, well, okay, Johnny's not, but let's just count, 10, 13, 17, 18, 20, uh, 24, 24 cards out of 60, 60, 61 minus, essentially 65% of my deck is early game, and then there's, like, uh, 2, 3, 6, 8, 8 mid game cards, and then there's, like, only 5 late game cards. And we still manage, magically manage to draw the upper echelon of our deck. If this game was not so rigged, honestly, I would not have so much fun yampering about it non-stop. But hey, that's just me. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out the Discord. Check out the absolutely everything and have a nice day. Bye-bye.